the actual sailfish is much faster even than a, a cheetah. And if you think about that, it's pretty amazing because a, a sailfish is actually going through water rather than air, obviously. Uh, so the resistance of the water must be greater than the air. And so how does a sailfish actually achieve much, much higher speeds? Well, uh, a few years ago, so I was in the Caribbean and I noticed one uh, at the place where I was staying, it was on the wall. And so I questioned the man who had actually caught it, who was working there at the, uh, the resort. He said he was very proud that he was actually able to catch it because they're so fast and so maneuverable. I went into a few days of uh, research on the actual sailfish itself to see why it was so quick. I learned a few things about it that uh, really opened my eyes up in terms of hydrodynamic efficiency, which is very similar to aerodynamics. And so on the way back to Heathrow, we stopped off in Miami and I went down to the uh, fishing village uh, very close and uh, was able to buy a, an actual sailfish that had just been caught. And I had it sent down to downtown Miami and we had it stuffed and then sent back to London. And then we sent it down to the uh, scanning department of our aerodynamics lab. And we discovered that the actual scales of the sailfish, or the faster the sailfish goes, tend to generate little vortexes and pockets of air, uh, such that at a certain speed, the sailfish is actually not even uh, going through the water. It's actually enveloped in a, uh, a pocket of air. And then there's an added benefit of uh, physics hydrodynamics also that actually creates a suction where the fish is actually going faster. So what we were able to do was uh, normal ducts, ducting that leads into the passageways uh, towards the engine where the, the sort of the, the lungs of the car are normally just smooth or maybe with just a little bit of texture. But by applying the same uh, scales of the sailfish, that type of form, to the inside of the ducting, we were able to increase the, the amount of air going into the engine by another 17%, massive amount. We were able to take this texture, this type of scaling, and apply it to the P1. The P1 is our hypercar, massive horsepower, which in turn requires massive amounts of air coming into the car uh, for the engine, for combustion and cooling. Not only that, there are a few other elements on the sailfish, the fins, the trailing edge of the fins, uh, little diblets which are on the part of the body where uh, the torso where it meets the tail fin uh, to straighten out the flow of the pockets of air or the, or the water as it goes past. A lot of things. So we basically had the fish um, immortalized uh, and, and, and put up on the wall of the design studio. It's a huge attraction for us every day to look at it and study it and get inspiration from it.